Boom. Welcome to Grown Dad Business. I am Aaron Kleiber. We back. We back. <laughs> we back. JC Penny over uh, here. Oh, no, that is my kids, reserved for your children. My kids that call is him JC Penny. Not for public consumption. I'm sorry, I apologize. Should we start over? I fucking hate nicknames. We better watch it. I'm You're sorry. dropping an F bomb right in the intro. <laughs> Damn it. Explicit immediately. Damn it. Jason. I'm sorry. Well, Jason Clark's here, swearing up a storm, being a bad role model. My children are watching this podcast live right now. Come here, they're Abby. Not, they're not. Come they're here. Not. No, Don't name not. my children on the podcast. Oh, God. So we're back. Uh, Jason and I have been traveling a lot and uh, doing a lot of other things that I've been, uh, I feel like I've built my new house. <laughs> uh, but uh, we are back for the first week of summer, technically, because school's over. And we're going to be talking about, guys. You know what season it is. Oh, we do. It's grilling season. We got the heat. You got the meat. Wait, I got the meat. Wait, what is it? We've got the heat. You bring the meat. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Granddad business with Aaron Caliber. That's my dad. Hello. Underpants. That is hilarious. You should mouth do. Rate and review this podcast while my daddy will go into a deep depression. Grown dad business. Mm. We got heat. We got all the heat if you put in your meat. No, what is it? No, totally no, explicit now. Explicit. Oh it's my super God. explicit. Yeah. If you bing the brat, then I will make it hot. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Huh? It was. Oh. It was. It was. We've got the heat. You bring the meat. Yeah. That's what it was. That's the slogan. That's the logo. That's the t-shirt. Wasn't that the song? That's the beer koozie. It is the, beer, the koozie. beer koozie. Wait, is it, what is it again? We've got the heat. You bring the meat. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So when you have a uh, cookout. Right. That's apron. our. A grown dad apron. Boom. For cooking out. Well, okay. I didn't want to drop this on them too soon, oh, but damn, guys. Here it comes. We're coming up with all kinds of things. Oh. Some hot phrases. <laughs> yeah. Just like, we got the heat. You bring the meat. <laughs> that's it. It's going to be on T-shirts, aprons, beer koozies, beer koozies, bro. And uh, sooner or later, I I'll tell them when officially. I don't know. <laughs> officially. It'll be on GrownDadGear.com what? and GrownDadShirts.com. Grown Dad Gear, dude. Making things happen. Dad Gear. T-shirts. Remember our friends at Dad Gear? Yeah. Let's partner with Dad Gear. <laughs> I'm saying it live. <laughs> I don't care. But anyway, uh, you bring the heat. Wait. I bring the heat. Wait, you bring the hot dogs and I will <laughs> I will sleep into a meat fog. What? Too many words. <laughs> Too many. Yeah. Um <laughs> It's grilling season, dude. It is. I know look, I am not it, much of a griller oh, because I've never had a good grill. Oh. And also like I travel a lot, so yeah. there's not a lot of Saturdays or Sundays or Friday nights I on grill, a weekends. I don't give a shit. I grill dude, every, you're a beast. every night of the week. Dude, you're my grill daddy. Uh, I'm a grill daddy. You, I'm you're your my grill, grill daddy, daddy homie. I'll, I'm your grill I'll daddy. I'll say it to your face, That's Jason. A new shirt. Another grown Another man. Another one. Write that down. You're my grill daddy. Tell your child to write that down. Take a note. I'm your grill there. daddy. <laughs> you're my grill daddy, bro. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Dude, a shirt that says winter? I'm your grill daddy. We live in the northeast. I'm grilling out in the winter. I don't okay. care. I didn't want to bring it up too soon, but my father-in-law yeah. is a damn animal when it comes to grilling. Mm. He's a beast. I have seen this guy. He is grilling. He He's grilling uh, hot dogs, hamburgers, wings, grilled mm. shrimp. Dude, I know people. Pineapple. I all know, on the same grill at the same time. This makes no sense to me, but what? I knew a person that would make a cake in their grill. And I'm like, it don't make no sense at all. Hold on. I gotta, but you can do just, that. You can I, bake a cake in your Jason, grill. I gotta have a moment of silence. This yeah. doesn't make any sense. It's crazy. Wait. And I looked at her. It was a. It was a, a so. Yeah. But they just treat it like it's an oven. Like it's an oven. And that's uh, what she said. I've done if that. If it's calling for it to be at four hundred, you can get that thing cranked yeah. up to four hundred, and you bake it. I'm like, yeah, but dude, okay. Propane. But like, here's I'm my question. Blowing, you know. But like, f why? Yeah. <laughs> just because you said you <laughs> did. I think that's one of those things where you're just like, just because I. Because it, it was a okay. conversation piece. It made you stop. Jace. It, it, it made me stop cold in my tracks. Stop. It was stupid. Then but again, let me it. just let me just start over and be like, yo, mm -hmm. Jason, um, 
So at my birthday this past weekend, we had a cookout. Mm-hmm. I even cooked my cake in the grill. Say what? You'd be like, you are a goddamn man. You're crazy. If you told then me, then we find out that your gas is turned off on your house because you didn't pay your bills. <laughs> That's why she baked her cake. She is she... struggling. <laughs> she was... That is the struggle. <laughs> you know you're struggling. Yo, I made my kids oatmeal on the grill this morning. <laughs> I was, I'm out on the gas grill making a bagel. <laughs> they shut our shit down. Yeah, my, oh, times is tough. Times is tough. Times is tough, man. I got this grill, 99 bucks over at Walmart I on layaway. Go, I just go down to the convenience store and steal another can of propane, acting like I'm returning it. <laughs> I got that blue rhino game. So what? In 1997, I stole a couple of propane tanks from Kogos. Who hey, cares? Listen, we've confessed. Did a lot I say of, that about me? No, I didn't. We've confessed a lot of sins on this Whatever. podcast. So what if my friend's dad? bought one off me for twenty dollars <laughs> at the back of my trunk i mean you know <laughs> hey what you need i need hey, some what propane. Are you doing with those propane I got, cans i got a guy uh i'm selling them to you <laughs> That's what I'm doing. <laughs> i just remembered that <laughs> am i allowed to admit to felonies we've done it i know we've done it <laughs> the cage was open jay what are you gonna do the cage was open you gotta eat i had my truck <laughs> it was one in the morning this wasn't you no, it was not you. If it was somebody I knew. <laughs> so anyway, oh my. Jason, Jason is back. the grill daddy. It's good to be back. The grill daddy. Oh. You are a grill daddy. He's got a beautiful deck. It doesn't matter where I'm at. Oh, right. Yeah. How many no. parties have we been to together? And like, oh, there's Jason. Oh, he has. I the take grill. over on a grill. I mean, you because it, <laughs> it calls to you. Well, yeah, the and, and, and I, on two different occasions, we were at one, we were at one party, uh, and uh, the owner of the house, uh, I think, was it Nolan's? I don't remember. I think it was Jethro. They're vegetarians. Yeah. And Jethro said to me, he goes- These are owners, our friends' owners yeah, of Arcade, Arcade Comedy, Comedy Theater. Theater. And we're at their house for Labor Day, and he goes to me, he goes, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% sure on the grilling of the- uh, grilling of the meats uh, <laughs> can you help out well, yeah. so i'm like hell yeah i'll pony up and then memorial day we were just over at the, the other owners at the other owners of arcade and abby's father uh-huh. started off and it was just a simple cook it just sure. hot dogs this is elementary just a pap this just a, a pap yeah, just a cooking pap dogs sitting there we got a grill going yeah. charcoal blazing it up no. and he uh another level he goes like this he goes i gotta go to the bathroom and he goes we watch the fire for me he never came back, <laughs> so I, they left. I'm going to tell you right now. And I took over, and we I'll tell you right cooked. now, that was a solid dad move right there. That was. A, yeah, it was a good move. That was him. an old man move. He realized maybe he was like, hey, I don't have the time to commit to might this. Might have been a solid old man move. Yeah. He might have knew exactly what he was doing. I think he did. Hey, son. Hey, young man. Could you uh, keep an eye on this for me, sucker? <laughs> he, he, he walked in the house and seen her mom. He's like, Judy, we got to go. <laughs> <It's> so funny. <laughs> Two Dude. hours later, I just fed 85 people. So so Jace, Jace yeah. is always grilling. Uh, my father-in-law dude, is a beast. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is a guy where he will put his grill under his porch. Yeah, when it's raining. Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. And he's, he's grilling in January. I will you know why? Because he wants hot dogs and hamburgers. I will pull my grill. In the winter, yeah, right outside my sliding glass door. Yeah, of course. Um, so I'm actually still standing in my I love it. house, grilling. I love it <laughs> because yeah. I mean, listen. What so you can it? pull your grill up to your sliding glass doors. Mm-hmm. And that's Stand, how you do it in the winter time. I'm standing in my dining room. Yeah, cooking. Boom. Yeah, turn it, turn the heat down low in the house. Just under, genius. Listen, folks, it's getting a little chilly in here. Genius, because Daddy wants to make some chicken. Right. Yeah, and it it tastes good. Well, you got to. Because my father-in-law, uh, he he will he will be like, oh, no, I don't want that George Foreman. No, no way. He he will want two hot dogs no. just for lunch, and he will go out on the grill. Grill it up, yeah. And put a little mini pyramid of charcoal. <laughs> oh, oh, sh- yeah, yeah. Like, it, just to cook a couple little things. Yeah. So, uh, with grilling season, um, I'm trying to think. Uh, we never have notes for this show. This is not like a... Thing we were. We'll talk What's beforehand, you... and we'll start yelling at each other to shut up because we're wasting it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know it's true. You shut your mouth. I know that's waiting. a good. You should you say shut that up. on the show. <laughs> like I can say it again. Okay, Jace. All right, go. I, I'm, I'm, I got to think hard about this. What's your favorite thing to eat off the grill? Swordfish. Whoa! Right out the gate. Boom. See, you grill a lot. I love swordfish on the grill. Wow. Yeah, nice thick See, I, cut swordfish. I've only had fish a couple times on the grill. Mm, God, buddy. I mean, really? that's the way to do it. Like people that say they don't like fish. Um, I have, know, I have grilled, made some gr- a grilled uh, fish, a good grilled salmon on yeah. the grill. Yeah, was, that cedar was really plank good. that. 
Yeah, that see, was because really you're good. because the thing with your salmon is because it is a thinner fillet. Yes, so you're gonna it's it's. It's, it's all about it it's, it's all about cooking even. Uh-huh. And when you if you're running a, you're doing a fillet Look skinless this. science, and it's because it's thicker and then it right. thins out of how they fillet it. Right. I generally will chop that up and get thicker right. whole whole cuts rather than a whole fillet. Uh, I see. Um, but on a cedar plank, yeah, the best huh. for for salmon. Yeah, nice thick tuna steak, oh, shark. Yeah, tuna swordfish steaks. shark. Yeah, shark is so good on this on the grill. Mm, yeah. So. Now we're gonna now we'll get into techniques in a minute because that's we're I don't want, we're gonna open up a whole ball yeah I mean if whole, there's anyone that's gonna whole bag listen here. to this podcast is a, a, you know and they're gonna be like oh when we start talking about cooking methods and what we're cooking yeah. on we know it gets personal right it I, does you know I'm we'll not, break that I'm, down I'm not smoking hogs in my no. backyard I mean I, I'm not doing that shit but. dude I, I'm gonna be honest I love uh, two things on the grill and I'm gonna go simple man mm-hmm. I love grilled barbecue wings oh yeah. Like, I mean, especially like you ever go any places where they make mm. them like the like the, the oven. The, the, oh, yeah. Or like, like that, wood oven. What's that one pizza joint Dan yeah. Marino owns? <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't uh, know. No Super Bowl restaurant. I don't yeah, know what it's called. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it's called. Yeah. No rings. What's it called? <laughs> no rings wings. <laughs> no rings wings. <laughs> Dan Marino. Pim, pim, pim. Dan Marino can suck my pim, pim, pim. <laughs> Taking shots at Dan Marino. He never played for the Steelers. I don't care. Yeah, they were Okay, he grew up in Pittsburgh. They I, passed all, them up. All the respect. All they the respect. passed them up. What year was that? Oh, I remember. There's a, there's a whole... I know. Boom. We're already just fl- flipping right over. Well, they were saying that the 80s, we could have won more Super Bowls if we would have drafted Dan Marino. Oh, the story behind it is, is yeah, it's unbelievable. Well, I'll check that. That's for another later time. Yeah. Um, But, dude, but, I mean... Yeah, wings. Wings. I love on the grill. fired. Oh, yeah. so wood good. Fired? Put a little, and you, what, you put a little wood chips in there sometime? Make a little... Yeah. I mean, a, we'll get into that. Yeah. Uh, and then, dude, roasted corn, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, roasted corn. You know what else? You know what else I remember? My mom used to do it. She used to do, because uh, we had a little grill yeah. on the back porch in a proj, yeah. you know, in a projects. That's short yeah, for projects. projects. Yeah. We used to have a little gas grill, you know. Uh, my mom, when she would cook on the grill, she would do corn in foil, mm-hmm. and then she would do the baked potatoes in foil. Oh, yeah. And she'd just put, like, a dollop of like sour cream, mm-hmm. butter, mm. and then she would put like a chunk of onion mm-hmm. in the potato and then wrap mm-hmm. it up. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah, my mom good, cooked for like technique. for like grown steel workers yeah. when it was just me, her and her two little kids. Yeah, so I do my corn two ways. Yeah. So for me, my corn is almost a two-step process. My if mouth I want is watering right now. I'll take my corn. This is yeah. nuts. You're going to get nuts on your hair. Okay. Take my corn, shuck it, the whole thing. I don't. I don't get into the whole just throw the whole thing. Oh, on that's a little fire. nuts. That's, that's to me. I see how people works, do that, but uh, sometimes it works. I get hairs on my teeth. Yeah, but then you got to shuck it when shuck it's, it's boiling hot. hot. What are you gonna do? That's I'm just like ah, right. ah, ah, and then the shuck yeah. it, clean it up real good. Yeah, I wrap it in a paper towel, mm-hmm. dump, dunk it in water, take it out of the water, and then I wrap it in foil, and then I stick it on the grill. Wait, wait, wait! You leave the paper towel on? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wet paper towel. Seals it, creates a steaming effect for when I grill it. So it steams my corn. Then, Jason, my mind once it's done, I take it out, this is and why then I, I flame it. This is why I have this guy here. Yeah. Then That's I unbelievable. It. High fives. Dude. I, yeah, simple. Because it gives me, a, I like a steamed corn. That's unbelievable. I like a steamed corn. <sighs> yeah. I mean, you'll hear stories of people that cook corn in a cooler. Yeah, I've heard that. You take that. boiling hot yeah, water. I've heard that, yeah. Sting, you I've it seen that. You throw done. them in there. Yeah. Yeah. But this thing, and then what I do is I pop it out, and then I'll roll them and flame them. Yeah. And then you just put, Parme- That's how we used put to- Parmesan yeah. on it, oh, put garlic yeah. salt, put some, oh, yeah. some parsley, some red pepper flakes. And then you flame what do, it a what little do you bit. Got? What do you got? In your, what do you got in your garden? Yeah. I got cilantro. I'll roll them sons of bitches in cilantro, and we're having like a Mexican Ooh, corn. Wow. Are you kidding me? Come on. Dude. Let's get excited. Let's Dude, have that's a good, show. man. You want to have a cooking show? I can't wait. Now, uh, I've talked about the last couple of weeks. I'm at a new house, mm-hmm. and I, you know, we're gonna wait till next summer to do yeah. a deck. Yeah, because we have so much stuff going on. I mean, dude, I just dug out 144 feet of trench. Yeah. Uh, you know, we built a shed. We got to divert some water. Yeah. What's that? We got to divert some water. You got to what? Divert some. water. I had to divert <laughs> some water. Yeah. What are you doing over there? Divert Diverting some water. water. That's Diverting what we're doing. water. That sounds like yeah, Bill Nye science. That sounds guy. like some big well, earth to, thing. Yeah. It's like what you doing over here with that backhoe? I'm diverting water. Diverting water. Yeah. Uh, we did that. I painted 106 rooms. Yeah. Um, I feel like I've been painting for two years. Yeah. Uh, because I have 10 foot ceilings now, so that's fun. Yeah. Um, 
But like, I want to have the deck. I want to have the grill. Yeah. Like, I can't wait. And that's mm-hmm. going to be next summer's project. That's yeah. going to be, you know, after I do all of this crap here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't wait for that. Yeah. I, I'm going to be. We love, I mean, my wife and I. I'm going to be a grilling dad. I'm going to be a grill daddy, dude. I'm telling you, man, there's nothing. As God is my witness, witness. <laughs> Jason, I will be a grill daddy. God. I got a whole year. I'm going to give you, I'm going to start writing my, my little tricks, my little recipes, Jace, my little things. I can't, I can't wait to learn. Just I will be that. your Padawan. <laughs> your grill daddy so Padawan. Good. I'll be a grill baby. Live on that deck. Be my grill daddy. Live on that. Will deck. you be my grill daddy? Got the signature drink of the I'll summer. I'll be a grill baby. My wife came up with the signature drink. What's of the, the drink? Oh, it's oh wait, mm. you told me Clark's and Caicos. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a play on uh, on a on a um, on a pina colada, mm. and uh, we use the uh, don't don't even tell them coconut coconut rum that we got from um, St. Martin that we've Ooh. been saving for about five years. We've Ooh, had good. sitting downstairs, mm-hmm. whole chunks of coconut just fermenting in it. Wow. Yeah, she. Oh, you, you make your own little jungle juice. Oh, it's pretty dope. Ooh. No, it's we got it from there, and it, it was all right. you know loaded up. But um, yeah, she came out um, other Sunday. We went out, started in the morning, eight in the morning, eating breakfast all day, and then finished off eating dinner, breakfast, lunch, and dinner on the deck, just chilling. I love she it. She comes out with this drink, and she goes, "Here's our summer drink." Oh, I'm like, oh, huh. <laughs> here we go. But yeah, I mean, no, I mean, live on, if you got the deck, it's like having another room on your house. You're going to use that I room. Know. I know. I know. I can't wait. Love that summer, man. Love it. I can't Love wait. It. Watch the movies out there. I tried oh, to yeah. convince her that awesome on the deck. I wanted to rig a, like just a screen off the deck with a projector under my overhang. That's crazy. And just project movies. She didn't buy that. She's like, no, 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 no. We're out here chilling, relaxing, <laughs> enjoying life, not watching <laughs> Iron Man. That's like like my wife and I like we don't have a TV in our bedroom. Neither do we. Yeah. Never and I'm have. like I'm like if we put a TV up here, she was like no. No. Nope. I'm like yeah, but like no. Nope. I'm like okay. You do you if you want to have one in your bedroom and you yeah, do nah. whatever you want to do with nah. that TV in your bedroom. We're we're not. Nah, we're good. Nah, we we, we already signed that. that a couple years ago. Yeah, we're we good. just that was minute one of our relationship. Yeah, totally no, good. No no TVs in the bedroom. I um well uh let me give some shout outs. Yeah. Let's get oh, some, yeah, let me give some shout outs. Uh, and it, this might be a short episode, guys. So what? So what? But what, there's a lot of stuff to talk about. A lot more grill stuff. Um, uh, I first, uh, when I get back, I'm going to give some shout outs. When we get back, we're going to get into uh, charcoal versus gas. We're going to get into it because it's, it's a conversation you have to have. Uh, but first off, I want to give a shout out to our friends at Ignite Hospitality. Check out Ignite Hospitality if you are uh, in entertainment. Uh, they're, they're actually doing their services for a lot of different people now. Uh, Ignite Hospitality finds you hotel rooms. They've also, uh, are coming up with some different, uh, things going on with Ignite Hospitality, different services. Uh, they're doing like credit services now, I, th- I believe. They're really, they're really helping out like, uh, you know, entrepreneurs, people that work for themselves, especially entertainers, people that travel a lot. <clears throat> Uh, but Ignite Hospitality can get you cheap hotels. If you're an entertainer, you travel around the country. I use them all the time. I mean, I, I always I always use the example when I got a five-star hotel room for $24 in Chicago. I mean, that's one of the best things I've ever gotten. Uh, and normally, I don't pay more than $25 for a hotel room a night, which is, I mean, dude, come on. For $150, $200 hotel rooms, you can't beat it. Ignite Hospitality hooks you up. And uh, it's basically a social media trade. You fill out, uh, you know, reviews, TripAdvisor, Yelp, uh, Facebook, and uh, they're very happy to give you a cheap room. It's amazing. Check out IgniteHospitalityServices.com. Jason has stayed in a couple of Ignite rooms that we've gotten. Yep. But, yeah, IgniteHospitalityServices.com. Talk to Adam Wagner. He'll hook you up. Uh you got to check it out. They're on Facebook, too. You can find them at IgniteHospitalityServices.com. Also... Huge shout out to our uh, our girl, Mary Mack, Mary. who is a huge sponsor of our stand up get down show. Mary Mack, uh, she always gives us baked That's goods. That's become a thing, dude. People when we start giving away, it. it's so silly to think that we're in a stand up show, I know. a game show, and we're giving out bu- we're, muffin we're mix. Giving out muffin mix, yeah. Like, and people are like, that one girl last show people was oh, like, shoot, let me get. She's some. like, let me. Oh, you got pancake mix? Yeah. Let me trade you these muffin yes, mixes. I know. And they're like barter. So, so yeah, and and uh, so good. Mary she walks Mack, in the green room with like four dozen cookies, 
20 packages of uh, she's killing oh, I know. our diet. She brings all the comedians like cinnamon rolls <laughs> that uh, John Dick Winters will eat in one sitting. Oh. I will say it because he did, and I watched him, and watched it was him lick horrendous. His fingers. It was so <laughs> nasty. But no, Mary Mac Bakehouse. Uh, she also does a podcast about baking, Mary Mac Podcast. Dot com. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can look up Mary Mac Bakehouse uh, on any social media platforms, and she sells all different kinds of mixes, pancakes, muffins, cookies. She makes pies, cinnamon rolls, uh, and she ships it. Those chocolate she will cookies. ship it anywhere in the country. Um, the cinnamon rolls are the best cinnamon rolls I've ever tasted in my life. They are my favorites. When Mary Mac brought them to stand up get down my wife wendy was there and she was like you better get one of those cinnamon rolls to take home <laughs> For they're so good yeah. uh so check out mary mac bakehouse look her up on any social media platform we mary mac uh i cannot highly enough recommend mary mac's uh mm. baked goods also she has a she has a bunch of different pittsburgh themed recipes too yeah she has like uh she what? has like an at an at muffins yeah yinzer cookie mix uh, oh. Yeah, she has yeah, like I think like a Sidney Crosby. Yeah, she has like a Crosby she has like cookie little, mix. Like, kind yeah, of little names punny little names for a bunch of them. So if you have friends that live around the country that uh, love Pittsburgh or from Pittsburgh, it's one of those things you can send to them. Mm-hmm. You know, the fun gift from Pittsburgh. Oh yeah, so, amazing. So MaryMacPodcast.com. Check her out there as well, and IgniteHospitalityServices.com. Boom, pam pam pam. So I do it, Jason. You lit it up, dude. So here's the. Let me open this up with um, – I, I know I mentioned my father-in-law is one of the ultimate grill daddies. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's Pap. Pap. We all call him Pap. Yeah. And his big thing is – now, what do you think that he's a, he's a completely stickler for? He's a charcoal guy. Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. He's a, he's a briquettes kind of guy. I mean, my – Pap, my father-in-law, Pap, if <laughs> you even bring a gas grill on his property, <laughs> he will shame you. Yeah. To the to into the ground. Yeah, he will just what the what what do you think? I ain't put no food on that goofy thing. Like that's the stuff. You ain't got an infrared burner on a. What you? What the hell you doing with that? I don't need need to simmer a pot of nothing on the side. Which is the truth? I used that side burner once. I mean, really? Some people say too. Like I know I've seen people like boil corn next to it. Yeah, oh, you know, definitely bake beans. do your baked beans. Baked beans, bro. Yeah. Uh, when I cook breakfast on it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I bring my cast iron out. That's what oh. I do. I cook on my cast iron in my grill. On my grill. Do you? Mm-hmm. Jeez. Yeah. You like, are the yeah, grill whatever. I, yeah, my different cast iron pots, my pans, I now, put them on there. Now, here's the thing. Uh, I've I've had both. I, and like I said, I've, I haven't had a lot of time to grill, so I've always bought like some cheap grill, you know, at Walmart mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? And like little charcoal grill and uh charcoal is more trouble. It is more trouble. It's all about con- it's from, it's, all, it's convenience. Convenience. It absolutely. Gas grills are convenient. Now, gas grills are a lot cleaner. Um easier clean up it seems like sometimes. Sometimes not. You got to maintain them. Uh, right. Um charcoal. I mean, you know, people think of charcoal and it's oh, you got to put it in a pile mm. and then you got to s- put some lighter fluid on it. And then you got to let it get hot. And let it simmer and get warm. Well, there is a method to, I mean, to, to do in the grill. I mean, too many times, like a lot of people will, I, I've been at do cookouts you? where I've been into a burger and said, oh, Bish, you did not let them coals get yep. hot yep. because I'm eating lighter fluid. Yes. That will so flavor funny. that yeah. burger. And you know Ooh. instantly uh, you need to back up and let me take over. Well, because a lot of people think that if there's flames on the charcoal, you can cook on it. No. No. No, no flames. No flames. It's you all want about indirect. Gray charcoal gray, burkettes. Yes. You want to feel that heat. Yeah. You don't want to cook on that flame. Right. Absolutely. Um, but, like, you know, Pap is, is 100%. Like, I mean, he'll cook everything on there. Yeah. And he has a monster charcoal grill. Yeah. Like one of those big daddies. Mm-hmm. Now, do you do you have a hybrid? No. You have charcoal? No. Oh, okay. You no, have gas I'm straight grill. gas. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, why are you straight gas? Convenience. Just convenience. Yep. But because you cook so much on the grill mm-hmm. that I can't imagine you doing that four nights a week in the summertime. I mean, you could. I mean, you if could. you got That's, the time. I mean, the thing is when I'm playing. My you know, father-in-law does. Yeah, he does. I mean. I swear to God, that guy probably buys a huge bag of charcoal briquettes every yeah. other day. Oh, yeah. You wait for. In mem- the summertime? You wait for summertime, Memorial Day, and you see these, you know, Lowe's will be running a special for two bags. Oh, dude. Two big 40-pound bags for like. 
ten bucks. Oh, he'll buy. He'll buy ten. And bags. they put it. They, yeah. They, oh, you he see will the buy guys. Ten oh, they put a limit on it because he the sees guys them like at that. Sam's Club and he'll buy ten of them. Oh yeah. Because he'll run through them. Oh yeah. He'll run through them in a month. Yeah. yeah I mean, for me, it's all about convenience. I mean, right. it, it, we can debate taste, and I think you can manipulate right. taste. For me, if here's the thing. Well, here's the thing. As someone Jason, that loves to cook. Yeah. I just whether it's you on are, a grill or in my kitchen, cooking. I love to cook. I do. Yeah. If you're relying on the cooking source to be the main reason for your food tasting good, yeah. eh, I, you, you've got to be bringing a better quality on what you're cooking. That's all I'm saying to you. Right. Get mad at me. Come at your boy. Holler at me. Listen, if your burger is just some goddamn 80, 20 ground meat and you're right. not doing no flavoring to it and you're relying on a charcoal to give you the flavor right, right. you want, I can get you that flavor you want off my gas grill. We're fine. You think I can manipulate that is it. a bold statement. I can manipulate it. You can. You tell want mesquite? Some... I get you mesquite flavor. Let me I'll tell flavor you that right up. now, man. If you said that to somebody's old, no, head, no, not the like hardcore. My father-in-law, mm -hmm. yeah, he would be. Paul, oh, get the heck, get the heck out of here. I go burger for burger. Against I mean, him. I, Jace, believe it or not, I did some research. Yeah, you did. I did some research. Now, when you're talking about flavoring, um, I was uh, reading uh, AmazingRibs.com. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you start talking about barbecue, I will say to you. When it comes to barbecue, yeah. um, I do have a rib recipe that I use that is a quick, easier one, but there's nothing that will replace right. a slow cooked over right. over coals, over yeah, over fire when oh, it yeah. comes to your barbecue. I will well, I will tell you that I'll lose that battle any day. You're not gonna replicate what I, you do. Now over a I small looked burn. into things and it really comes down to which was pretty fascinating. Um man, what the hell just happened? I just lost all my. Sh <laughs> I clicked on my phone and something happened, Jace. Um, but anyway, really, what it what it came down to was the smoke. Mm -hmm. That's what that's that's what people. All the research I did, that's what came up the most. Yeah. Now, um, now, amazing uh, amazingribs dot com was actually pretty cool um they have this article it's basically charcoal versus gra gas grill for ribs and um it's a gas it's a website gas grill for ribs no amazingribs.com oh, i'm sorry yeah so basically one of their biggest questions for you know ribs on charcoal or gas is there a taste difference and they're saying that searing uh is a big big thing is you know browning the surface of the meat especially steaks um but there's chemical reactions um that happen between the two and apparently one is uh if they said a gas grill and this is also too like i guess you, you use wood chips most of the time when you're cooking ribs mm -hmm. and they're saying that with a gas grill it always tastes a bacon a bacon uh taste they're saying gas grills give off a bacon taste just mm. because of the metal and I, and and the gas taste. Like, Isn't that odd? I like bacon. Bacon's fine. <laughs> Bacon's fine. Right. Um but like the it's just a matter of taste really. I mean, I don't think there's I, I the argument between whether you're going to do it off of you know, again, what I said when you're when you're dealing with barbecue and you're doing it with ribs, you're, right. you're gonna it, it's you definitely want to look to be going wood fired and 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 you know have a nice because you're slow cooking that, yeah, you know slow cooking on a on a with indirect heat too, yeah, is a challenge for you on a grill. Well, it says too like there's another article you on know a, on a on a gas grill. Oh yeah, yeah. but like uh, there's another article you know charcoal versus gas from the Huffington Post and. Mm -hmm. You know, basically, they say it's a matter of taste. Um, personal they, taste. Yeah, personal taste. Not just taste. I mean, it's no. my personal taste. I, yeah, absolutely. And it is a matter of taste, I believe, too. But they said they did research. This is from Huffington Post. Uh, and this is an article from 2009. But it's, you know. We should do a blind burger test. Well, here's the thing. They said that they, a study says that most people cannot tell the difference between gas we're and charcoal. Doing, we're doing this in my house. Because I have Jason, a charcoal grill, too. Well, here's the thing. I, this is what HuffPost, HuffPost says. I call bullshit. Okay. Because I think I can tell the difference between charcoal and gas. Okay. Don't you? 
You're gas. You're a gas guy. Challenge. It's gonna, no. I mean, I'm just a gas guy for convenience sake. I mean, that's what it comes down to. Sure. I, taste wise, I mean, I'm just saying you eat gas cooked food a lot more. Oh yeah, ninety. But then when you have charcoal, ni- I mean, I'm, I think I could tell. We're gonna do this at my house. We I'll set to. up my charcoal grill. We I will to. make. I'll make burgers. Identical burgers. Identical burgers. Same yep. f- same seasoning, same everything. Right. Same burger. I will cook one on my grill. I will cook one in charcoal. Right. And then we'll give it a shot. I mean, that's the only it. way to su- settle it. Only way to settle it. Yeah. We're doing it. Yeah. Preference versus taste. I think the wording is different. Yeah, that's true. I prefer from a convenience sake, but right. if it comes down to taste, you yeah. know, I, I don't you know, I don't know. Again, I stand by the, it's it's all about the prep. I mean, if you're taking Right. You know, if I'm taking a piece of chicken and marinating it for 48 hours, and right. I'm going to come on the grill with it, I don't think you're going to give a shit if it's yeah. cooked over charcoal or over over gas. Here, let me bring up another thing that I, dude, I found this fascinating, bro. Mm. Uh, that what do you think is healthier, charcoal or gas grilled meats? I I immediately will say that gas is cleaner. Absolutely, gas is cleaner. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's a one study that was actually in Men's Health. Uh, in Men's Health, one study by scientists, charcoal grilled meats contain more carcinogens, and they're called polycyclic aromic hybo- hydrocarbons, PAHs. Okay. They contain more PAHs than meat heated with propane. We've talked more science on this Dude, episode than we've ever done. Well, we're talking about grilling we're meats, about, Jason. We're talking about fire e- and well, science. We got the heat. We got the heat. You got the meat. Yeah. So I mean, this is out. completely normal. They saying that fat dripping from the meat, the fat burns and creates chemicals with charcoal that gas dude does not. Mm. So the f- meat because mixing, it's going right on the heat source. Yes. Whereas you have the shield over top of the heat, right. where you, I mean you're still getting some burn off, but. Interesting. It's, it's an interesting chemical mixture with the charcoal yeah. briquettes and the meat uh, juices and fats. I mean, I've always just had the idea of the chemical that you're putting on the charcoal and it's, but it's to get the it going. Smoke. It's the smoke. It's because it's in the smoke. What about over wood? I don't. It's know, just I don't about know. briquettes. I don't know. That's interesting. But yeah, that's. I mean, they said that uh, the PAHs, the polycyclic aromic hydrocarbons, uh, there's over a hundred different chemicals found in the smoke. Emitted from cooking meat just, on a charcoal grill. I just see again. I see some old timer looking at you right now and say, "Well, put that phone down." I've been cooking. <laughs> I've been feeding you hot dogs off of that grill for twenty seven. Got to pa- you. Pap would lose slap, his mind. He slapped the phone right out your hand and just. <laughs> so, uh, this is so funny, man. This it's so technical. Yeah. Uh, but so what they're saying is there's there's chemicals in the smoke. Um, carcinogenics because of the charcoal, right? Because of the charcoal. Um, I, I'm going to tell you what I, I think when I build my deck mm. and yeah. I you go hybrid, I might go hybrid. I'd dude. go hybrid. I'd go hybrid because every once in a while I like, I, I'm afraid that you I will like find that you won't find that it'll, your, your charcoal side will in essence become my side burner. You'll never yeah. use it. Because you're just like, we got to eat because the kids got to go to soccer. They got to go here. I'm going to click, 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 click. Woof. Done. You're not going to have, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not going to find that time. You're a guy of convenience, I think you're right. too. I think you're right. You're it's a convenient a good call. kind of guy, too. We love mm. the microwave. I mean, that's where we roll. That's what a gas grill is. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's the yeah, microwave. It's the of microwave grills. of the grillers. It's the microwave of grills, bro. Yeah. So, really. I mean, are we answering this question? It's completely up to the individual, man. Boom. I, I will not argue. It's just like anything else. I don't get into arguments about personal preference. <laughs> got your own attitude. You got your own well, mentality. You know what? Go with it. I would say, though, if I had the time, I would go with charcoal. I would. For burgers and dogs, I like charcoal. Yeah. I like the taste. And you're going to die before me because <laughs> I'm, I'm cooking on gas. Because... All those uh, goddamn polycyclic <laughs> abhor what uh, polycyclic aromic uh, uh, aromatic no ar- it's polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. I don't. It was too much science. It is. It's too much science. Science is a son of a bitch. It is. <laughs> it's a Bill, son of a bitch Bill of the week. Bill Nye. 
Except, except, except for climate for, change. That's a real thing. That's a real thing. <laughs> that's, no matter what. That's a real thing. I don't care what people tell you. It's definitely happening. Well, I can't wait. I want to grill right now. Mm. I want to grill right now. You want to grill? No, I have to go get a pizza. <laughs> My son, Greg, what? well, it's a thing. I told you my son's birthday is tomorrow. We always, we have a favorite pizza place. We always have the same pizza for the birthday. And Boom. So we're right. it tonight. Graduates from high school tomorrow. I know. That's God, crazy. Damn. That's crazy. <sighs> I know. Well, I know, uh, we're going to be grilling this weekend anyway. Maybe. I don't know. No. We're going to try to have. There's going to be a grill involved at some point it, in my life over the next 48 hours. I know of that. Of course there is. Fact. Of course there is. Um, uh, but guys, happy grilling. Yeah. Um, and if you want to see us live. Where are you going to be? Where am I going to be? Well, I already mentioned uh, there will be tons of Mary Mac Bakehouse goods at the Stand Up Get Down Mm. on June 24th at Arcade Comedy Theater in Pittsburgh. It is part of the WDVE Comedy Festival. It'll be Sean Collier versus Bill Crawford's team of the DVE Morning Show. And it's all comedians that are featured on the DVE Morning Show. Uh, Like I said, Bill Crawford and Sean Collier. Uh, Alex Tapula, Jeff Conkle, John Dick, John Dick Winters, Winters, and Ed Bailey. And Ed Bailey. Loaded lineup it's gonna be so for good. the stand-up get-down, June 24th. But before that, guys, uh, June 14th, I'm headlining at uh, Hilarities in Cleveland. Yeah. Uh, just a one night, one of my favorite clubs in the country, another one of my favorite clubs. June hit, 15th, the mm-hmm. very next night, I'll be headlining Columbus Funny Bone. You going to hit that barbecue up in Cleveland? Dude, I might, dude. I might. I might have to. I don't go to Cleveland unless I hot go sauce Williams, to Hot Sauce bro. Williams. You might go with me. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and then June twenty second, uh, a little uh, a little Pittsburgh weekend. June twenty second, uh, Thursday before our stand up get down, I'll be headlining at Rivers Casino, and then uh, the twenty third, I am part of the uh, the uh, the loaded show for the WDV Comedy Festival on Friday, June twenty third, and then twenty fourth, our stand up get down, and then guys. Uh, Man, I will be in Washington, D.C. I'll be in Rochester, New York, Dayton, Ohio, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Sarasota, Florida, Milwaukee, and Appleton, Wisconsin this summer. Shamil Shamazel. <laughs> Shlemiel. Shlemada. Shlemada. <laughs> I don't even know. We're going to do it. <laughs> Um, Jason's going to be at that stand-up get-down June 24th. I know that. And he's also going to be at my house on Friday at a bonfire eating grilled items. Just fire them up. That's going to be good. Oh, buddy. Hey, IgniteHospitalityServices.com, MaryMacPodcast.com. Uh, holler at your boy, uh, Nike. Sponsor us, bro. <laughs> That's good. I, I'm, I'm, I, need, I need dogs. But, uh, hot dogs. That's what you want right now. What's the shirt? We got the heat. You bring the heat.